Ladies and gentlemen, dear guests, it's a real pleasure for me, in the name of the Belgian Development Agency, to welcome, to welcome you all to this 12th DLOG annual meeting here in Brussels. The Belgian Development Agency has been one of the founding members of DLOG and has been very active since. Despite this early commitment, this is the first time that BTC is hosting the annual meeting and we're all the more happy to welcome you on this occasion. Let me also take the opportunity to thank the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and DGD for their support in providing us with this venue. BTC's engagement in DLOG is of course not a coincidence. In fact, it has to do with the fact that local governance and decentralization at, uh, are at the center of our, de of our development activities, both through dedicated interventions in support of decentralization and go uh, governance, as through the involvement of local authorities in the implementation of sectoral interventions. Local governments are crucial actors for our development work. Belgium's involvement in local uh, governance also re relates to our own institutional structure as a federal, highly decentralized state. These centralizations based on subsidiarity to regions and local authorities are part and parcel of our institutional DNA. In Belgium, regions and local authorities are responsible for 89% of public investment and 70% of public expenditure. In this regard, I'm very pleased that the Association of Flemish Municipalities will share with you today some of the work they do to support our municipalities in Flanders in localizing SDGs. But our engagement in uh, DLOG also relates to the quality of the work which is being done by the network under the, under the stewardship of the Secretariat. DLOG is a good example of a dynamic, well-functioning practitioners network. And I want to congratulate the Secretariat for their work and thank the Swiss Corporation and BNZ for their financial support. With regard to our portfolio of interventions, BTC will soon launch a stock-taking study of our work on local governance and decentralization in the last 10 years in order to better build on our strengths. The idea of this exercise, which also wants to be prospective, is also to see how we can best support local actors in new emerging thematic issues such as migration, climate change, e-government, and peace and stability. Several of the topics you will address during these three days meeting are very important to our work at BDC. Localizing SDGs is crucial in various ways. First, because, of the lot, because a lot of the support we are providing as development partners takes place at the local level. Support farmers, rehabilitate feeder roads, strengthen the capacity of courts, local police, primary schools, and health cares. Local authorities are heavily involved in the implementation of proximity services to the population. Making the link between the SDG and territorial local planning is consequently essential for reaching the global agenda. Supporting local authorities to include the SDGs into their strategic plan, uh, implementation framework and monitor monitoring tools is paramount to reach our collective goals. Fragility, as you know, is at the heart of our work. Indeed, most of our partner countries are in fragile situation, which implies, amongst other things, we need to adapt constantly to a rapidly evolving context. While a few years ago we had started promising institutional and organizational work with the government of Burundi, we have, in line with the EU position, suspended direct financial support to the Burundi administration, but maintaining support to the population. The Burundi example raises the question how to best operate in a context where the government is part of the problem and not part of the solution. From that perspective, the, the approach proposed by Professor Seth Kaplan to supplement the vertical state-citizen relationship and social contract with a horizontal perspective of social covenant is interesting. Another interesting question from the fragility stream is whether decentralized states are better equipped to navigate through periods of tensions and instability. In the words of Jean-Paul Faguet from London School of Economics, Decentralizing a state may increase its strength by making it more souple or flexible. By increasing the density of government structures in terms of elected local and regional representations, decentralization can generate more feedback loops and increase the overall level 
of accountability to which the government is subject. But does such analysis resist the really check in the field? In fragile states, central and local government are so interlinked that the loss of legitimacy of one implies the discredit of both of us. <coughs> Very often, indeed, decentralization reforms in fragile contexts at our best incomplete and inadequately designed to deliver its expected results. I leave it up to your collective wisdom to further address this question during your session on fragility. Territorial approach to development is increasingly part of our reflection to promote local economic development in specific geographical areas in some of our partner countries. This allows us to work in specific regions beyond the usual sector perspective into a multi-sectoral, multi-actor approach. The objective of a territorial approach is to help unleash the development potential of territories. In Belgium, such, uh, just like many other European countries, the regions are the engines of economic development. This is also the case in our partner countries. The rationale for a territorial approach to development is to help unlock the local potential, drive bottom-up national development, and create opportunities for all. The concept of a territorial approach to development is emerging as an operational tool to boost endogenous, integrated, and incremental growth strategies at local levels that foster human and sustainable development. This, however, requires to move beyond local authorities to facilitate the emergence of a shared governance system between local governments and a variety of social and private actors. Let me conclude on a broader perspective. Development cooperation is evolving constantly, but now probably more than ever before. The SDGs are reminding us that most of the issues we are dealing with are global public goods or bads, which go beyond north-south paradigm. New global issues such as migration, terrorism, climate change have to be integrated in our work. However, for these agendas to live up to their historical potential and foster the transformation they seek to achieve, stronger ownership at local level will be essential. A network such as DLOG is key in facilitating the exchange of best practices, experiences and peer work to reflect on those issues and collectively improve the quality of our support to local actors. Let me just finish by wishing you a very fruitful week. Thank you.